Ah, Sage Wanderer here, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Okay, so uh, they're cloning the stars, apparently. Apparently, we don't have enough stars in Hollywood. They have to clone them now. Why would you clone a star? Well, there's lots of uh, reasons behind it, according to the conspiracy theory of the cloned Hollywood and music business stars. You know, I always say that the best way to get things done is to delegate. And uh, so I set out to clone myself spiritually, <laughs> create other people that can do what I do. So maybe that's it. Maybe they want to clone themselves so that they can hang out on the beach while their clone slave does all the work. Interesting. But really, the theory doesn't say, it, say that that's the reason for the cloning. The reason for the cloning is twofold, one of two reasons. Either one, the star is sick and tired of what they're doing and they want a break and they want someone else to do their thing so they can hang out on the beach, right, and, uh, and disappear. Or it's because they become unruly and the Illuminati can't control them anymore, so they clone them so that they can kill the original star and still have the revenue coming in from their movies, from their records, from whatevs. So... This kind of ties in closely with another theory you might have heard me talk about in my Alex Jones, Bill Hicks video. And that's the concept of uh, stars who fake their own death. And I think that the cloning story, the cloning theory, uh, is works hand in hand with the faking of your own death theory. And how that they chronologically kind of roll out and one kind of leads to another. If there's any truth in this, here's how I think it might have went down. Got to have some coffee for this. Ah, okay. So let's look at Elvis Aaron Presley. Elvis Presley might be the very first person that people believe could have faked his own death. The first star to disappear, become someone else. I believe he became a preacher. I actually do believe that Aaron, uh, uh, that Elvis Aaron Presley uh, faked his own death became a small town, small church preacher and singing preacher in Kansas. And it's because I found a guy who everything about him screams that he's Elvis Presley. And he kind of tongue in cheek will suggest that maybe he might be. And uh, But he's just a plain old charismatic Pentecostal or Baptist, you know, kind of an evangelical kind of, I don't know. I haven't watched his sermons, but I have listened to him sing, and I gotta tell you, if he ain't Elvis, he inherited Elvis's voice. So, you've got this uh, theory that Elvis maybe was tired of the rigors of the road and all of the pressure, and just wanted to be a regular dude. Maybe he got back in touch with Jesus, and he wanted out of his contract. And so he faked his own death, gave all of his resources and vast library uh, away. And uh, but you know, I find one thing I find hard to believe is Priscilla. I can't see him leaving Priscilla. Like this guy was seriously in love with Priscilla, and I can't see him walking away from Priscilla and his daughter. You know, um, and to fake his own death. So. But one of the things that you'll find about the faking of your death theory is that they always change their appearance drastically right before their death. In Elvis's case, it was all of the weight that he put on. In Michael Jackson's case, another person who has, uh, people have thought he might have faked his own death, was the plastic surgery. I mean, all we'd have to do is have another plastic surgery to kind of put his face back like it was before all of that and none of us would have recognized him. We could stand next to him in the aisle at the grocery store and not recognize him. Uh, same if, his Elf, if Elvis lost all the weight and, you know, changed his hair, shaved his head, let his hair grow out. Think of the huge difference that my appearance made from the time I cut my hair and shaved my beard and how different I look than I did when I first started this video, uh, video uh, channel. A lot of people might start saying, Sage Wonder's been cloned. I've been cloned because I changed so much. I don't know. But the theories go like this, that major Hollywood stars become either disgruntled with the system and want out, or they become unruly, unmanageable, and are killed and cloned because the clones apparently are easier to control. They do what you tell them to do, but they still have your talents, your skills, and your abilities. See, that's the part of the theory I find hardest to believe. Because to me, the soul 
the soul of an artist is what makes us want to watch them. It was Elvis Presley's soul. It was Michael Jackson's soul. When you come and watch my YouTube channel, you guys are digging my soul, my, 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 my essence. And you could clone me, and if he didn't have my soul, he, he wouldn't buy it. He wouldn't be as good. But they have this theory, and, and part of it is is that people do undergo a lot of physical changes. And some people who have this iconic image of someone in their mind can't grasp the fact that this person you know, might just be aging, or might just be changing their look, or might just be getting fat, or might just be having some plastic surgery for you know because they want to try to look perfect all the time. And that... Um, you know, and that messes with people's minds who have this iconic image of who Michael Jackson is or who Elvis Presley is or who Beyonce is. And when people go through changes, then you're thinking, oh, they, they've been cloned. Another thing is personality changes. People see these massive personality changes in their stars and they think, hey, maybe they were cloned. I'm not sure who started the theory of the clone stars. I don't know whether to believe this or not. I do know this. The Illuminati is, you know, it's not beyond them to pull something like this. That to get out of your Faustian contract, you're signing away your soul to the devil. That, um, you know, there's only a few ways out. You can tour till the day you die like old Bob Dylan, who's still on the road after all these years, and tells you he's on the road because he signed a deal with the devil and he's just got to keep going. Or, you know, that here's no choice. He plays until he dies. Um, or... You know, they fake their own death to get out of it. And uh, now apparently there's a third choice. They can be cloned. And their clone can take over. And then they can retreat to uh, anonymity. I don't know, become a preacher in Kansas or a gardener in Tennessee. So, at any rate, there's this whole group of people that believe some of your favorite stars are cloned. Another thing they like to show is when people have these meltdowns where, I don't know, they pass out. Katy Perry recently just ate it, just face planted on stage. Maybe it was exhaustion, maybe it was drugs, maybe she was sick, uh, or maybe her clone malfunctioned. Do, do, do. Who are some other major stars that are purported to have, be, to have been cloned by the Illuminati and replaced? Jay-Z. Now, he hasn't changed a lot, but there are some minor differences as his face has matured that people have glommed onto. Um, what's the other one? Oh, the guy that just recently had a meltdown. Uh, Beyonce is... Mm, I can't remember his name. Beyonce is another one that's supposed to be cloned. Um, they're, the list of clone stars pretty much encompasses all of them. I think in one video or another online, someone decides that every star has been cloned. Um, you look at Britney Spears and her mental breakdowns that she's had. People claim that's due to her clone malfunctioning. A lot of people don't believe Michael Jackson faked his death, but rather that he was cloned and that the real Michael Jackson was horribly disfigured uh, at the Pepsi commercial where his head caught on fire and he became a human candle, uh, human firework, human sparkler. And uh, that at that point they cloned Michael Jackson and that the, the nose and the pale skin and the changes of appearance and all this are due to the clone they created could sing and dance, but apparently it would start to physically break down and the nose would fall off and they had to put it back on. And Of course, now apparently they're getting better and better at it. The recent one was Dave Chappelle. That's another thing that can get you accused of being cloned if you are a famous uh, professional musician or comedian or actor is if you take a long hiatus and disappear and then come back because you're going to look different. You age, you put on weight, you know, your complexion changes because you've been living in the sunny climate or not. And um, so Dave Chappelle apparently has been cloned. Um, so, yeah, this is, the, this is the theory that all of these Hollywood stars have been cloned. And either the real ones are sitting back laughing at all of us on the beach somewhere while their clone entertains you, or they've been killed for their rebellion and cloned. I will say this, in the case of Dave Chappelle, he stood up and talked out against the Illuminati and ran away to Africa to escape them. And then some years later comes back looking quite different, with a different complexion to tell you the truth, and, um, and is now okay with Hollywood and the Illuminati and is ready to kiss down, uh, bend over and kiss their feet. 
to uh, get uh, a shot back at the table, a seat back at the table. So, you know, maybe he just decided it was easier to sell out, or maybe he was killed in Africa and cloned, and this guy is some kind of meat puppet now pretending to be Dave Chappelle. Don't, don't, don't. Has Sage been cloned? I look very different than when I first started my channel five months ago. Maybe they got to me and cloned me, and now I'm just an Illuminati puppet. <laughs> Don't believe it. You know why? Because uh, Jesus is my king. And, um, yeah, I don't know that a clone working for the Illuminati would say something like that. But you never know. All right. Well, till next time, uh, I hope I can survive my limited amount of YouTube fame without getting cloned and replaced. Uh, all right. Till the next Coffee Talk. Clones. Ooh, they're scary.